One of the most common questions that we get at Nerds Limited with respect to the web is how to download a YouTube video. Just so you know, this is not legal with respect to copyright, so be sure that you have the rights or permission to use the rights from the copyright holder before you do this. The plugin that I'm going to be using is called FlashGot. Tools, FlashGot, there it is. And here's how it works. When you load a video that you want to download, and in this case, I'm going to mute the audio just so that it does not feed back, like so. You typically want it at the highest possible resolution. And my recommendation, just because you can't be positive as to what the highest resolution will be until it's previously loaded, is just to flash got media, flash got everything. And the way to do that is flash got, flash got media. And what that will do is pull up every simultaneous stream on that page and basically just ask where you'd like it. In this case, we'll put it in downloads in a new folder called, I don't know, sound card. And what this is going to do is download every simultaneous feed because YouTube has many simultaneous feeds for this specific video. We're not actually sure which one is the highest resolution, although we have a pretty good idea. Chances are it's one of the 1080s, or in this case, the only 1080. And you can check all or none or just one of these if you see fit. And in this case, I'm going to select all of them and then just click download. And from there, what you'll see is in your downloads, they will all be busily downloading. In this case, a 469 megabyte total. And again, you can stop the ones that you don't want, but that will give you all of the various streams so you can determine the one that will work best with your application for whatever it is you're going to be using this video for. In this case, I'm downloading this video purely for reference so that I don't have to have an internet connection in order to help my client set up the focus right. That's all there is to it. Once it's downloaded, you can make use of it however you see fit because it's offline and it's all yours. Again, be sure that you have permission of the copyright holder if you plan to use it in basically anything aside from personal use.